Well, here we go, folks. Israel and uh, the Palestinians. Biden and the good old USA. Well, we're, we're not going to send weapons to Israel. Hell, Israel don't need any freaking weapons to fight the people they're fighting. <laughs> Israel's like one of the most militarized country in that part of the world and others. It's just a thing uh, to try to peace some American people. Uh, we won't send weapons to Israel. Hell, Israel fighting Palestine is like an ant, which is Palestine, and an anteater, which is Israel, put in a small box where the ant just has to try to stay alive as long as it can. But eventually, the anteater will get the ant. It's that simple. Uh, <laughs> and as far as... <laughs> Israel going into Rafa, hell yeah, they are. Their whole purpose of this whole thing since it started was to get rid of Gaza completely. And uh, NATO nation, USA, is definitely not going to stand in their way whatsoever. Uh, Israel has the money. They have the money around the world. And that's what controls these things. Dirtbag politicians doing nothing but making money on the side. Ah, and it's been this way since, God, way be, 1948, I guess, became the worst. And before, even before that, for the Palestinians. Uh, <laughs> it's just amazing what we call democracy, peace, in the world, shit, what a joke. It's amazing what the United States, NATO, China, Russia, hell, we could all be at peace, but the basic point is, and always has been, there is no profit in peace. The only profit in peace is for its taxpayer citizens. <laughs> but, like I say, no profit in peace, only in war. That's the way it's been for a long, long time. And these dirtbag politicians, nothing but talk, 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 talk this, talk this crap, <laughs> pretend this, pretend that. <laughs> it, it's all a freaking joke. Just nothing but a <laughs> get rich <laughs> dirt bags. That's all we have in this world. Uh, now, as far as... And then, like I say, let's get back to what the taxpayers are paying for down in Gaza. They're building all that, all those docks for landing crafts and things. It, it has nothing to do with the aid for Gaza. If it was, NATO and the United States would put a halt to Russia, or sorry, Israel, to knock the crap off. They've been killing and destroying Palestinian property since God I don't know when. And nobody gives a damn. And that's about the way it is, folks. Just about the way it is. Too many people are brainwashed. They have been brainwashed ever since World War II ended. And we're still being brainwashed every day of the freaking year. Hundreds of millions of people just letting these dirt bags. <laughs> Basically, they could end up destroying the world if they're not careful. But anyway, folks. Israel, like I say, that's their whole purpose. Eliminate the Palestinians, take the property, control what's left. 
they've been basically nothing but working slaves under Israel. And USA, NATO, none of those damn countries really care. And as far as, oh, I do want to say something. I have a highly disregard for the Arab countries surrounding Israel. Those dirtbag Arab countries and their leaders are doing nothing, nothing to help <laughs> protect the Palestinian people and their property. That's the worst sin for Arabs, as far as I'm concerned. Amazing what those countries could do and say to Israel, knock the shit off or you're going to have to battle all of us. And of course, that would get the United States and NATO involved also, but what the hell, if it's going to come to it, let it come to it and get the damn thing over with. That's all I got to say about it, folks. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of lousy comments. But what the hell? Millions of people just following the bell. What can you expect? All right, folks, I'm out of here. Wish you all a happy and safe day. Goodbye.